You ready? Oh, you guys. <clears throat> Honestly, you guys, you guys, you guys. Whoop, Kets is in the place. You ready? Always. Oh no, here we go. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, you know what? I haven't even streamed yet. And oh my God, you guys have started already. Um, God, you know what? I've had a really, really tough day, guys. A really tough day. And I just thought, you know what? I want to come on and do something that's probably going to be a little bit taxing on my brain and just nice. I'm always ready. You ready? Always. Look, I have not played this for a considerable amount of time. And I do, I'm going to start from new. I'm going to start right from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, Ultimate F4, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm just going to start from the beginning. And to be honest, guys, I want sound checks and everything because this game is, I think for me, it's one of those games that's underrated. It's a very, very good game if you take your time and you play it right. So that's what I'd like to do. So I'm going to just go new. I'm going to go new, start from the beginning. Um, I streamed it many, many, well, over a year ago. Let's turn that off because we ain't flying anywhere, are we, guys? So let's turn that off for a start. Based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Yeah, they are. They are brilliant. Bull, one five eight. Thank you very much for the host. I stopped the gym last Thursday. Enjoyed it. Made me feel so good. I wanted to say. But <laughs> it's all the burning, but. right, the lact the la it's called it's called lactus. Yeah, Dan, you need to keep going. You need to keep going to get past that burn feeling. And once you've got past that burn feeling, Dan, I promise you, you will enjoy it more. It's the hardest thing when you start back at the gym or you go to the gym. Or Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. I don't, I don't do consoles though, Chameleon. You know that with me. I do not do consoles, mate. Won't touch them. Let me get comfortable because I'm going to... Try my best to enjoy this. The city of dreamers. Like a kid again. I like things like that. Oh, let's get comfortable. And by the way, guys, I'm going to show you what I'm drinking as well. A city of undercurrents. We're not everything is as yeah. it seems. Dan, the hardest thing is the, the, the lactus burn. But you'll get over it. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. I promise you, you'll get city over it. That has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. That's right, but it starts. What happens is, if you the the the, the known thing is, if you tear the muscle, it rebuilds Marine itself. Corps, but literally, you know the chain of command. The if one thing I know about it's going to the gym. Believe you know what you're right? fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption. Um, like can I have a sound check, please, guys? You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? <laughs> I made it you know what, Chameleon? I ain't missing anything. KGBL calling car. 14 Thank you. Adam, 14 Adam. And you de I know you can definitely hear me over Go it. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms oh, for an evidence on. search unless there's some kind of catch. You Ever the optimist. You know what? I'm going to use my Xbox controller. Himself. I'm just going to uh, use my Xbox controller. Sorry about this, guys. It'd be easier for me if I do that.
Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. Yes, I'll sir. check out Red, Red Dead on PC, but I won't do anything I used to go to the gym. Payton, <laughs> Negro male backed up and on his way to Central War. <laughs> Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag you know what, Dan? I can give you loads. Area. I can honestly give you loads of advice. Don't worry about that. I can give you loads of advice. So don't worry about that. If you PM me in Discord, this is a I can pump. even do um, what you call it, training things Probably for you. Right. So if you want to do arms, tries, all right, have hold the whole lot. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Oh, by the way, yeah, I was going to show you what I was drinking. Right. So, I'm not going to advertise, but this is what I'm on at the moment, guys. Look, can you see Look that? This junk. There we go. That'll probably get uh, blotted out. Because it's, I've worked hard, and I thought to myself, I will enjoy myself. And what's that? <laughs> Spanish wine? No, it's Prosecco. Right, there we go. No, I'd, I'd do, if I was you. Oh, it's brilliant stuff, Kets. Come on. I would do one day on, one day you, off, geez, just to rest the muscle as well. Depends how how often you train or how many hours you train. Cole, come take a look at this. Circumstantial. So we've got a bottle, which is we're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. Nothing to do with the um, investigation. Got twenty bottles of cider going to be punished off today. I just thought, do you know what? Honest and truthfully, Kat, it's no disrespect. I thought I've worked all week. Well, for the for the days that I've been at work, it has been quite stressful. No, I wouldn't say stressful, stressful, but it's been difficult. It really has been difficult. And I just thought, do you know what? At the weekend, I just want to relax. But normally an hour and a half, really, but I have a member's staff helping me. All right, so you've got your own little uh, personal trainer there. So, are you still doing the induction? Is that what you're saying? Because most of the time, when you go to the gym for the first time, it's all about the induction. Which, when you do the induction, all they're doing is teaching you how to use the weights, you know, things like that. Any ideas? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And all that will happen sure, is they'll probably stay with the you for the first few hours when you're there. Hell and as soon as go. you get familiar with all the apparatus and all the, um, really matter how you, go. you know, mach uh, machinery, you'll be Don't fine. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Can I side seat game? Cover! It's a brilliant game, honestly. It is, it's a really good game. So I just want to, literally, I just, I really want to just take my time, go through it. After all these years, yeah, it's a lovely game, and the quality, the graphics, and everything is nice. But let's just have a look, so that I can get. See, what will happen is you guys will put me off. You know that, don't you? And I'm trying to remember from when I used to play it before. Because if I remember rightly, there was a ref here. It is. Tim Sima, how are you? This doesn't pertain to the case. Well, I've not, no, I haven't completed it, Chameleon. I've started it up. I didn't complete it, so theoretically, it's classed as backseat gaming. So leave me alone. <laughs> it is, Sim, you'll, you'll enjoy this. You'll like it. Ignore what everybody else says and just literally enjoy the, the, the game for what it is, honestly. I have tons of movies from... 
and the thing is right guys there are and i'm going to be honest and i'll say this from the beginning there are words because wow. don't forget this is the 1940s how the hell did you see that reflection so, in the window so there are certain words and certain things that are used in here that if you use them in the chat believe you me you will get banned simple as well i will say let's get that out of the way straight away and i think to be honest it may need that going up the gun's up on the roof right so we need to find a way up Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> yeah, I know the game quite well, so as far as I got, I did quite well on what it. Kind well, of do these I did quite well with the help are. from Mr. C last time. We did okay on this. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? I don't even want to think about what that smell is. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. <laughs> so we got the Sarah number. Actually been Two fired. Guns fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Um, I I'm using the Xbox controller. I can use. I mean, because I've got them both in lot. It's either way. I can use both. So because the best thing, you can use both, which is nice. Before the perp tries to leave town. I do prefer to use the mouse and keyboard, but I don't know the controls so well, but I can learn them a lot. We there we the go. Gun, we can do it. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a oh, cool. <laughs> Show some initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's pretty oh, fancy. Oh, you know gun. what? Chameleon. Right, that's it. That's it. Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks oh. from here. I've turned it off now. It's gone off. That's it. Chameleon's done it. That's it. It's gone off. I've had enough already. I'm just using. Oh God, I'm such a kid order. <laughs> You're always picking on me, you are. So now that's it, now Chameleon. I am just using mouse and keyboard. So cover, 303. Thank you very much for bringing that one up. And actually, look, it tells you what to do. See, now I got to work out how to open the notebook, <laughs> which I know it on the keyboard. I get the notebook. Oh, come on, you see. How do you open the notebook now? Oh, you see, you've done me now, look. What was that arrow? I don't have that arrow. <laughs> now I can't open the note tab. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. You would think that uh, he's played this before. So that closes. It depends if you take your protein shake, your protein shakes. What I used to do, I used to take my amino acids, which helps you burn a lot of the fat. I used to take the protein. So what I used to do, I, I'm going to use the controller because I understand it. I honestly, I understand it better, chameleon. Um, what I would suggest, Dan Rooms, is before when you actually go to the gym, make sure you've got plenty of water with you, right? Take the amino acids, which will help you burn a lot of fat. Okay. Uh, from there, as soon as you have finished from the gym, within that half an hour, take your protein shake. So once you've taken your protein shake, just relax for a bit. And I would say take either rest for that day and then go the following day. That's what I would do. That's what I used to do. One day on, one day off, regular. That's the controller going back on, guys. At least then, look, I can... What I mean, lot. I can turn the pages. Right, so. Let's go back to that. 
So people, clues. So clues. There was the blood stain. There was the Smith and Wesson revolver. People, we've got uh, scooter painting, murder suspect, and detective Floyd Rose. Your protein shake, you can either get it from Holland and Barrett, which is reasonably cheap, or if you want the expensive stuff, I would either go onto any of the mainstream um, websites. That's what I would do. I don't want no spoilers. Mr. Chameleon. I'm just literally, it, it says chill out stream. I'm just going to take my time and enjoy this. That's what I'm going to do. Because I, I really enjoyed this the, the first time I played it. Seems irrelevant. I was kind of uh, fortunate last time that you weren't, uh, you weren't around last night because I had a really good night's flying. I'm really, really impressed with it, guys. Really our gig. No harm in doing control. some control of vibration. Yeah, we know what that does. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. No, it was a good and honest lair. Um, oh, thank you. You watched it, but it was quite good. It was Wake a. Up, I was really impressed with the evening. We did. Um, we managed to get probably three, three landing and takeoffs done, which was quite good. Wake up, Cole. Fox says, "Mind the final front." Yeah, I'm, I'm back from the early days when you used to just go to the gym. And what you used to do, you'd put a bin bag, you'd cut the arms out of a, a bin bag, and you'd literally go to the gym with one of them under your tracksuit or something to sweat. To sweat a lot of any, uh, stuff out of you. I can remember all them days. And when people used to go to the gym, they used to have the great big bodybuilding belt on them, like there was some kind of uh, heavy weightlifting thing. I can always remember them days when you were doing heavy weights. You'd be surprised how many people you see at the gym now with the actual weightlifting belt. Always remember them days. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to do this as well as talk to you guys you know and I'm thinking I'm missing things <laughs> I'm sure that's what the police used to do back then if they just want to go through a, a junction. Whoa!
I've got to be careful with the way I drive this thing. <laughs> you see, as soon as you put your siren on, they will actually stop for you, which is good. Yeah, somebody actually mentioned that to me, the Mafia games. But I, it's the difference with me, it's what I read. When I read into these games, it's what I read about them that draws me to them. It's not the fact that I just decide I want to play them. Let me just move myself away from this um, mini-map. Let me move from the mini-map, guys. I'll just head about there. Yes. If I want to get through... Mafia 1, Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. I'll look into them. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Jordi, how are you? Visit West. Model 27 registered. Thank you very much for the host. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with Not Mafia 3, okay. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No. I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. Where's some candy shop? Are only available special order. Here's my Smith and Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? So, model 27. Yeah, model 27 pearl polished knuckle there. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in <laughs> February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Clues. We've got the Smith & Wesson. Creation book we've done. Mafia 3 disappointing with the game. I've seen... I have seen a few of them. Alright, that's what we want. That destination to his, appoint, his apartment. Do we call it in? We're going to go and play Let's see this. see if he's at home. Play this guy Calling and his gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Hey, careful, Gunga Den. idea how to get where I'm going here as well to be honest. Whoa. Right, let's get the let's get the siren on. You move out your way when you put that the siren. Wasn't so hard, wasn't it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using the real name. 
If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of I can't set a waypoint to this, it would be easier. This is, I can't even get round to that bloody road. This is ridiculous. Right, let's see what we can do here. Every road is a dead end. Oh, don't ask me to do an emergency call. You'd never get me there. Dev, how are you, sir? <laughs> right, so let's have a look what happens here. I don't, don't ask me what happened there. You know what it's like. I'm thinking you go onto one road and you're trying to work out which one puts you onto what the, I don't know how to make, let's try something. So I can make the, I can set a waypoint look. I can actually set. I'm just seeing if I can set waypoints. Yeah, I can. But that's fine. Old handle door allows you to enter. So, did we work out what appointment, uh, apartment he was in? So, let's go people. Uh, we're looking for Scoot Payton. We've got the blood stained thing there. The Smith and Weston. The gun ledger we've done. Foxy, how are you?
Who's in number two? Schroeder, Harbin two. Right, so number two. There we go. Right, you ready for this, mate? I'll knock. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your <laughs> gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. <laughs> Cup him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Woo! Hold on, what do I do? Oh. Oh, oh right, right, trigger X to door. Ready, tough guy? Get that. Come on then, I'm ready. Ralph, you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. I hardly felt. It. He's lucky he caught me off guard. <sighs> the fight scene. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Investigation music plays when you enter a crime scene or location. So search thoroughly to discover clues. Okay, right. So have a look. First of all, where's my hat? I'm a policeman, should never be without your hat. You know what I'm saying? You don't pick, oh, hang on. Vibrations. Vibrations mean something's going off. Uh, Artie, Rosemary, uh, Summers, Frankie, Clayton, Ted, uh, Kaplan, uh, F. Greer, uh, Leroy, Leo, Leroy Tate, man. Delbert. Oh, there we go. Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation, or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Oh, he's going to call it in, is there? Officer Phelps, badge 1247, request entry. <laughs> we do, I think there's a flashback here, guys. You know what we think about films with flashbacks. sons of bitches get in this line now before i lose my temper excuse me sergeant but excuse me fuck you you say another word and i'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig some of us are here for i know why you're here ass wipe i'm having a bad day private some people don't seem to want to get on this bus I didn't ask for your help he didn't ask for your help can you believe this guy who are you two abbott and costello we're here for ocs sergeant so it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for ocs God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. <laughs> Merrill. <laughs> Any other gentlemen for OCS? I wouldn't have called it OCS in. OCS <laughs> is an Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Back then, you see, in 1947, they probably would have been called up for a start anyway. They, they, they wouldn't have really had much of a choice of whether they would... They would have had a choice to 
you know, put themselves forward to get into the army, but a lot of people got called up. A city that needed an honest cop like a and if you didn't have a, a job, I'll tell you, story, you were more or less finished. Oh, here we go, we have got You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code. Three. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> chameleon. I was we'll sat at the that. back of the bus There's most of the time. <laughs> calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Oh, back in them days, I could not sit at the front of the bus now. I'd have been at the back of the bus, if not behind the bleeding thing. True, I'm not being funny, it's very true. Oh, excuse me, got a siren on there, love. Take it quick, you guys, the cops are here, we gotta move it. <laughs> Weapons on the ground now. Where's the other guy? Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Fight right to the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Back up will be here soon. Can a blitz? How are you, sir? Yeah, 50 robbing a no, not necessarily I'm not robbing a bank, I'm a I'm actually a police officer. Put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to Well okay, it won't what it won't do is he will not Whoa. What yeah the, oh, come on, why won't you actually Whoa! That control isn't working right at all, so I might go back to it. <laughs> Lieutenant Hopkins says he wasn't, what he wasn't doing is he wasn't um, hiding. Normally he was hiding before, and I press the trigger and he'll poke out the other side, but it weren't uh, happening. Back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. So what's happened now? What happened there? Because I don't think I did quite good on that level. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war... I'll have a look, I Dan Rooms. I will definitely have a look at Mafia, but I don't know about Mafia 3 if they're saying it's not that good. I'll have a look at Sergeant them. York and type. with me, well, there has to be a reasonable price. One thing I will not do is go spending loads Talk of money on a game. Officers like you and Boot Camp, Cole. 
That's what I won't do. They call do. it the Custer Syndrome. It's kind of blitz. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso, and their duty the is to die is for your wonderful you future. You need to have cover, and his partner isn't that good. Axel, press button, how are you? Good evening, good evening. His partner doesn't seem to do a great deal Cold to help him other than get in the way. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. <laughs> you guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. Oh, it's so. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. It's dead. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. I played that piece in my of case, you can add the war But oh, it's that. good, Kets, isn't it? It's not too bad. I that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LSTD! You can go screw yourself. Why, you watch it! He's hiding in the Whoa, let's catch you. You're, you're running away from the police here. Power! Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, son! Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Wow, look at this. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, you little... <laughs> you little frigger. Wow. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. What the frick? Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. I think I got him. Doing, Wendell? Think I got him. Parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole <laughs> like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow. <laughs> nice work, Cole. Cats, you wouldn't do Run that, though, would you? Kick him in the nerds, man. Kick him in the nerds. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get That's the men you care about That's not good even in any kill. kind of fighting, you know, These especially with blokes. And your ability never to give go them for the go now. And truthfully directly affect your chances you of successfully do becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. <laughs> Esprit de Corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Rice, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Ooh, Kelson, you are a badass. Fire beware. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Oh, you're too late. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? 
We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. <laughs> okay, Jimmy is crazy, on, honestly. Right, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. I swear. This town is Odd daylight. To Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Get it. Apartment 5. 11. Sorry, 11018 South Broadway. Third earrings, 52. So retail price, £52.50. Tax and non said they were the same. <laughs> Oh, right, so we've got payments made. Oh, hold on a second. That was secret, so that's that we the one. Pearl earrings made out to Bank of Arcadia. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I was married by a judge. Oh, see, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. All he does is that. He will not go any further than that. He checks. Checks his eyes. I want to check that part there again. If he does that, does he not? I've got. I've read that already. Right, I can't find anything else on him. <laughs> we should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Hold on, he's looking somewhere. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. <laughs> Clovis Galleta. So what have we got at the moment? Galvez Galletto. Eyes brown, 27 years old, hair brown, female. Uh, she's the store clerk, eyewitness to murder of Everett Gage. So you I witness. You tell me exactly what happened, miss. I look around the shops at yeah. lunch. You guys are wrong. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I need to judge whether they're telling the I truth or not. <clears throat> saw Mr. Gage fall. So if you think the witness is lying and you have proof selected to, to access, okay, right, guys, this is all down to you. Right, do you think she's telling the truth? A, doubt, X, or is she lying? Come on, guys, what do you think? Let's do this together. This is going to be fun. So would you say she's telling the truth? Or would you say she was lying? I would say she's telling the truth. I don't know who 
two shot gauge. Question Why? incorrect. No, officer. Oh, don't. If you guys are Googling this, don't do that. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I I've got zero out, out of one correct. Get out. Get out right now. Send in one of the other policemen if you must. But I won't say another word to you. Oh, he's lost it already, look. Now you've got to... Oh, you see, you've lost it now. You've got to start again. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was a little bit heavy-handed. Would you like to go out for a drink tonight and we can talk about this, I'm sure. Be nice you not talk to him, look. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That is not good. I don't want to keep going into that pocket. I need to go back in and speak to her, but she not talk to me now, look. Why could he not just have apologised? Okay, we'll walk around anyway. Ignore her, don't worry. Right, here we go. This isn't what we're looking for. Not all objects are relevant to the investigation. Then why would it vibrate? Right, let's just I'm gonna have a look around anyway. Well, they're, uh, what would you call them? They're not loafers, are they? You see, she won't talk to him now, and that's the... Oh, here we go. Not everything here is going to be relevant. See, because... It I think I feel now that because he's he's upset her he's not going to really get anywhere now because she won't speak to him again look you not talk to him at all look no matter what I do right okay so I can't do anything here now let's I tell you what let's have a look in the book let's go for um people we've got right there he is that's who he is right so she's review the evidence Shooting. No, can't get nothing more out of it. Maltas, how are you? No, I can't get nothing out of her now. Right, so that's I've messed that one up. He doesn't do much. No, he doesn't, to be honest. Um, I think what happens is if you pick an item up and the item is relevant to the investigation, then it will do something else. <laughs> right, I don't know what to do here now. I've kind of messed up. Yeah, it's kind of messed up here now, and I'm trying to think, what do I do? Okay, so we can go to... Let's have a look. I'm going to try, I'm going to try again. Oh, I love the way he steps over the body. No, she won't talk to him, I'm sure. I don't know, I wouldn't I don't I don't think it is for VR. Oh it is, yes. Oh hang on. No, I don't think it is. Oh come on, I'm stuck now, guys. You need to help me out here because this is
I'm gonna work out what I've got to do here because she's not speaking to him and I don't know where else to go. Right. Let's have a look at what we've got. So locations, what have we got? So Nunbush shoes, let's have a look. That's saying to the man's shoe store, scene of a fatal shooting. We're already there, which is 605 West 7th Street. So we're already there. Set location. People, let's have a look if I can talk to her again. So Everett Cage. He's the dead guy. 41, brown hair. Two store proprietor killed in shooting. Right. We have got Clovis Gallietta, who is the lady that will not speak to him at the moment. Review evidence, but it won't let me go back. Let's go back. You, you guys are sick. What happens is when you when you go near something, the uh, controller will start to rumble. Oh, there we go. The controller will rumble. That's what happens. Then you know to, there we go. Found it. So we're looking for the serial number, aren't we? So there we go. So I've got the serial number now, which is 01138. We have the murder weapon, but no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on it. We can trace the gun. Eagleson's gun stores you a couple know, but you got, uh, The thing I feel about you guys is I'm you guys thinking. have been left alone far Maintain too long. Alright, so now where am I off? This town is going straight to hell. Just have a look where I'm going here. Oh, we're going to go back to that gun shop. There we go, we'll go back to the gun shop. No comment on left alone. What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with <laughs> man. So she was a looker. Get out of the way. Look at where the gun shop is. There we go. Eagles Gun and Sporting Goods. Pink Nails, how are you? Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. <clears throat> What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 011138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. 
Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges. Yeah, the good and yeah. sport. Where we can find Mr. Kalu? <laughs> Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store. So people of interest that is at the moment, Edgar. Thanks for your help. Investigate Hardfield Jewelry. Have a look what we've got. <coughs> so people, we've got Edgar added now. So Edgar Callu, uh, no age, nothing about him but he's male. Review the evidence. No, we can't do that one. So we've got places of interest now. So location, Hartfield Jewelry we've got to go to. Uh, so let's set destination and we'll go and have a look, see what's going off there. I love how they're both getting the same door, like they're a couple. So let's have a look what goes off here. Officer, Question I Edgar. New watch. Officer Cole Feltz, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, abrupt hint here. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Hello, get back here. I'll God, he's, I tell you something, he's a bit heavy handed for a policeman. Ooh, they don't do that in this day and age, do they? The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps Oops, you awake police station at night. Three the case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs. The might have been, the half leads, the half truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nodded our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. Right, guys, we're going to do an interview, and I'm going to ask you guys what you think. I wish I could stay a bit longer, but I really Not need to, to do some more horror. No problem, Maltus. Kit, Kit, hi, how are you? Well, I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a Have a good one, Maltus, mate. Uh, take it easy as well, yeah? Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. <laughs> Good man. Oh, you're the only you one that says anything about Moobot. The only one. A motive? Opportunity? I'm going to get him. It's, I'm, I'm sure it's when you come in the room he goes crazy. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Right, okay, so 
I'm going to take my time with these guys. I'm going to ask you guys every single question to Has be my answered. Lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay, so shooting incident. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. Kurt. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Oh. Okay. Careful, use sensation to lead to breaking for interview and interrogation. Right, so he's telling the truth. Is it I think he's lying. I personally think he's lying. What would you say? We don't have long. I would say he's lying myself personally. <laughs> Right, here we go. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple of years ago. You can't so prove I used my gun. It on was gauge. stolen a couple of years ago. Uh let's go for You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you work. Is that so? Possible relations motive. When it suits them. Okay. So we've worked out that possible relations motive. Murder weapon service. We'll do that. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. So we've got that right. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Hey, you did okay. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. Oh, so we didn't do well then. <laughs> wow, talk to me like that. I'll tell you something. I can scrap, you know. Well, you said he was lying, and I went that he was lying, but we didn't. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. You're ready. A lawyer can't help you. Katsubati. Is that open outside? Yeah, that'll do me. Thank you for the follow. Right, shooting into them. Let's get this right, guys. Do you deny shooting every game? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Right, he's lying. We know that because he looked up. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. So right. Gage was an asshole. But his death wasn't down to me. See? I've just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around and But circles. I don't get that though. Because we got that right last yourself. time. I'm gonna get shouted at again. I can't be doing with this. Sorry, I just pressed it again. I can't believe we're getting shot at that again. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. Wave the trunk through that tip. Uh, do you know what, Axel? I would. Right, we know this Let's one. We know this. he's lying at this one. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. So we know he's lying. We know that. So we know it's a lie. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. So we can't prove you used the gun. So we've got uh, Leila Voucher, we've got uh, FN Browning handgun, and we've got murder weapon serviced. Didn't he have the murder weapon serviced? Can you remember? Because he had it, I'm sure he had it serviced. You had the gun yeah, clean. there we go. You bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you worked. Is that so? It's amazing so now what possible the relations, new lead. Suits them. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. 
This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Right, so... Uh, I'm going to go doubt. You oh, wonderful. Left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu. I'm charged oh, with we got it. murder of Everett Gage. We got it. Respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake. The jury can right, we got it. Murder in the second we got jury. the confession. They got have mercy 50s on the, on the bench. We got the confession. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Oh, <laughs> How am I going to ever please you, Chameleon? How am I ever going to do anything right? You're like the father I never... I always tried to please my father, and I could never please him. You don't know how much it hurts me, Chameleon. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing. Oh, so he's been promoted. Get himself two suits and get him pressed. Los Angeles Police Department. Oh, did you see? Look at this. Patrol completed. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for resi resignment. The offer displayed sound investigation techniques, service weapon proficiency, left peak uh, facility conditions, and keen in interrogation intents. Sorry, insta in instinct. Is this where the... <laughs> I don't... Do you know something? I couldn't be corrupt because I'm too honest. I apologise. I couldn't be corrupt. I'm too honest. <laughs> the driver's seat. The Central Dale Central Police Station. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Can you look, uh, just look at the suits, the three-piece suit that he's wearing. Wow. Hey, now that's a suit. Hi, Phelps. How you doing, I Billy Ray? I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl. Chief Jody. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Puggy Bear is fucking the hutch. Hey, his suits were bagging. One of only two serving LAPD Puggy officers Bear, who wow. received Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did Look my at best. these suits, though. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. 
You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Wow. I get down to the PE freight depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Straight through the red light. They were the day to investigate the PE freight department. Abandoned vehicle. So we've got to look for an abandoned ve vehicle at the freight depot. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. Hey, pretty lady. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got I'm just looking check. around, five look. Minutes. I'm just what having a look say? around. I didn't ask for any favors. Hey, isn't he the cop that won a medal for solving all those cases? Hey, I gave his <laughs> wife a tap. Sorry, guys. Yawning ain't good on stream, is it? I want to make a homicide. You know you've made it. Am I following him? What the hell? Skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. Uh, liking the look of this game, we'll keep an eye on it out for the sales. I don't know what price it is now, to be honest, you know, because I've had this a long while. Hey, guess what? We're outside. Whoa. Look at this for a vehicle as well, guys. Is it a Studebaker? What would have been nice in this is if when the partner is in the driver's seat, he would drive. Wow. Whoa! So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Mikowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. For two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as the first lieutenant. Fought the Okinawa Wounded, back home. A year on the beat. So you won the silver star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. Whoa! No. Right, we smashed the window. Knife puts in your teeth. Gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the speeds of LA. All units of 459 just occurred at 6 and Saras. See, they're side missions. I'm not going for any side missions. What you tend to find is you get side missions as well if you, if you want to try and do some of those. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda ride. And I don't want to pick up any side missions at all at the moment until I've gone through it. I love to play the story lane. The, the story mode Mikowski. for me is what I prefer. Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. Oh, nice one, Dev. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. <laughs> and it takes no prisoners, does Phelps. We'll speak to the officer first, anyway. Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. So Nate Wilkie now becomes a person of interest. The 
car is registered to an Adrian Black, just blood. north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. Uh, I'll keep Adrian Mr. Black talking, is another person of interest. Too long. He's the restless type. Okay, we'll find out. So we'll speak to uh, right, Suspended Right, okay, so we'll speak to him first. How right. long are you going to keep me here, sir? Have a look. I better get back to work, sir. So what have we got? How's the world looking? Oh, it's the same two of you, Clark. How about you? I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical joker says it's contaminated soil. So Adrian Black, 620 Bunker Hill Avenue, downtown Los Angeles. Is that, what's the CA for? I don't understand the CA on them. So that's it, his mail. What's that? 1914. £167 in weight. What's that here? Is that eye colour blue, brown, Caucasian, white? Oh, is it California? That's Thank you, Axel. Wow, that is... <laughs> I'm trying to work out which one's the bloke in this picture. <laughs> I'm honestly trying to work out which one is the bloke in this picture because I'm telling you now, 1999 for the base game, 2499 complete edition with DLCs. Oh, okay. Right, so that's done. Can I not check the glasses? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That adds some on it. Stenzel glasses. Stenzel. Home repaired by the look of it. <laughs> it's not harsh. I mean, you look at the picture. We all say that we love our women. Whatever happens. And I always say this. There's a woman out there for everybody. So would you say that is now the murder weapon? Brand name might give us something to go on. What's that? Insta heat? Install heat? Insta heat, I think it says. Something like that. Hey, I think it's your box. Let's have a look if that's entered it into my book. So clues. Abandoned vehicle, blood splatter, glasses, and bloody pipe. So abandoned vehicle, uh, light blue Lincoln reported abandoned in the railway track. What if we've got blood splatter, large splatters of blood found inside abandoned vehicle. What else have we got? Glasses. So the glasses are stencil eyeglasses, broken and repaired, found near abandoned vehicle. What else have we got? We've got bloody pipe, which is length of pipe. Uh, yeah, I was right. Insta heat brand stained with blood. So we're probably going to have to um, go to these places and find out who purchased them by the looks of things. So we'll go back to the insta heat of the hit over there. <laughs> oh, guys. You, right. Well, look at this. Look at that. Victim Ow. must have lost a lot of blood. A lot of blood? Did we carry that much blood in his body? Look at that. That is incredible. We're not getting the boot. Oh, we can, yeah. Nasty. Right, let's have a look at that. Right, okay, so we've got Mr. Live F. Hog. Morgan picked up a live Riverside yes, Slaughterhouse. Mr. F. Morgan. And that was on the 1st of the 5th, 1947. It was... 320 we're well, not that expensive what was that live hog weird that'll become a part of interest we've then got another part of the probably not yeah that's just a tire bar isn't it they call that in a tire bar there's nothing else there there's nothing else can i not close that no nothing at the front of the engine let's just have a look I don't see anything else. Clues A. That's B, so there's no just having a look if there's nothing else and then you've got C. Right, okay, so. 
I've just seen that that you're picking up. What is it? Have a look. Incidental. That's nothing. That is a lot of blood. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. I love the way they get, so I called the police. You know, Mind boss. if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. I think he's telling the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. I believe the you brother. Seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Yeah. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. You know what, bro? I think you're telling the truth, and I reckon you should tell him to shut his mouth, man. <laughs> when you saw the blood, was it wet? And right stop red? picking on us, brothers. Darker, like it is now. Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. So guess what? Oh, look at that. Fifth, we got everyone right. We're waiting a little longer. I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. <laughs> Nate, I'll judge him after you. <laughs> right, so you're all right, you know, bro. You go, you carry on. Right. Are you calling me? What's he doing? I didn't know it was um, released on Xbox. So let's go for location. So we'll go to... I think we're already there, aren't we? Yeah, we're already here. So we've, got, we've done the clues. I'm just working it all out. We've done the abandoned vehicle. We've done that. Yeah, we found all the clues. I'm looking at the people now because I need to work out where, if I've got to go somewhere else. So we've spoken to Nate Wilkes. He's fine. We've done all that. Adrian Black. Missing owner of the abandoned Lincoln. We need to go to him, don't we? This guy we need to go to and find. Unless he's probably the person that's been killed. So, uh, Adrian Black, we need to work out how to get to him. Right, okay, so we've got name signed on Slaughterhouse Purchase, but we've got no address. So without no address, there's nothing I can do for him. Wow, I'm not getting very far here. Sorry, Nate, mate, you're going to have to talk to me again. Right. I best be heading back to work. My boss is gonna give me hell regardless. So he don't this want to talk. Problem now. Anything you gotta say? Doc, Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. And he's not there. Is that it? He's supposed to be a doctor. He's not in the trunk of the car. We've checked that. I'm running out of clues here, guys. I 
I'm trying to work out where to go next. So we can go to the company which is called Instaheat and find out who purchased something like that. That might be an idea. So if we go location, let's see if we've got the location of Instaheat. No. Have a look. That's where we are now. No, so this is a real itchy one at the moment. Right, let's have a look around because I need to speak to somebody. A uh, clues got to work to do. The pig didn't want to do the slaughter, so he killed the guys I brought down. Yeah, that's what I'm just thinking about. Um, there's no one else to talk to. Nate don't want to talk to him anymore. This policeman doesn't want to talk to him anymore. I think the doctor. No disrespect, the doctor's pants. Ah, hold on a second. Right, what we've got here. Institution points can be used to highlight uh, undiscovered clues on the map. Mark them easier. The location. Right, five hidden vehicles. Uh, remove, what we've got here? Show all clues. Have a look. Show all clues. So we've only got, right, so there's only that one there where we are at the moment. So all clues is, oh, here we go. There's a clue here that I haven't discovered yet. There we go. I've already done this. So, theoretically, I've got to go to 62 Bunker Hill Avenue. That's where I would need to go now. Do I have that added to the system? Let's have a look. Let's just check my locations. It's not even there. It won't, it's not even in the book. Because theoretically I need to get to 62. If I want to investigate that, I should be able to go to. Let's try people and see if his address is there. Uh, was it Adrian Black? Yeah, that's right. And it just says review, but it doesn't give his address. Abandoned vehicle, glasses. It doesn't give an address for me to, tra to travel to. That's why I can't do that one. Yeah, but you have to have it on the map, don't you? You can't just turn up there. That's what you can't do. You have to complete all the clues here and then it will set a destination to an address. But nobody talking. I've swiveled that right. Optimistic call. there's nobody here have you tried to go there I don't you can't I don't think you can just do it like that I'm sure you can't do it like that you have to complete this particular section where's that doctor disappeared to that's a point he's gone hasn't he Let's have a look at that, because I'm sure you can't, you just can't do that. So, what did we say? It was 62. Let's have a look at that again. It was 602. Six twenty at Bunker Hill Avenue. I'm sure you can't just turn up like that. Wow, how am I going to find Bunker Hill Avenue in all this lot? <laughs> I think what happens is you complete all the sections and it will then give it to you. Uh, where's the pig hog? Is everything using a small around area in the crime scene? Well, it's not that. It's even the place where he got his glasses from, that would be good enough. This place where he gets his glasses from here. Danzel. 
or Stenzel. That would be great. But what I'm finding is I can't speak to anybody at the moment. Nobody wants to talk to me. Not getting no vibrations anyway. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Let's have a look. If I go over to this... I don't get no vibration from here, but I still get a vibration. I'm, there's something I'm not doing right here. Yeah, there's something I'm not doing right just here. So I've got to do something on this. I know I have. Get that open. Let's do that. Right, there you go. 32 years old. For some reason, Harry, I'm supposed to zoom in on like it. Guy. What was he doing out here? So new clue in the wallet. Right, we've got the address now. So now I can put that down and I can head to his address now. Right, so if I do that, if I go for people. Uh, where is it? Adrian Black. There we go. No, still doing it. Wallet, there we go. Right, so I've got his wallet attached. have to go location now, I would assume. At least I'm learning what to do as well. There we go. So that's the that's his house and it's also put yeah so I need to go there now so if I set a destination I can now travel to there there we go game's kind of self-explanatory at times as well which is good he's got a kind of a tough man walk he's like ain't he I mean, I've just come out from the gym. I've got my new suit on. Right, well, I have to be that close to enter the vehicle. Six twenty Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill, a couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. So we go to um, 620 Bunker Avenue. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. I'm not being funny, guys. That would be some serious... Obviously, car theft gone hand. wrong, that would. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, though. It doesn't add up. All units, shots fired, officer needs help. Shot You see, you get all the calls come to, which is side missions, just something to keep you occupied. About the guy in the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. He pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil. The Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic, folks. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me? Oh, come on. Is hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. I'm going to work out whether you can set some sort of a... I know I've got the waypoint, or you can set a blue line or something that actually tells you where you're driving because... Woo! I've got no idea where I'm going. Oh, 
on is there? God, it is so, it's so difficult. Because for me, every road looks the same. Oh, hang on, I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. I make it. Whatever happens, I still made it. Here we go, a lot. See? Nice little white picket fence and all this lot. The black residents. Just follow. Follow what? Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Right, okay, so, guys, let's just take us time. She's there, look, see her. Sat down there. Doesn't know that something's happened to her husband. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. I love the way they do that, Let's you know. In. I love the way they do that. Right, what was that mess? Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name oh, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. oh, Adrian! Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can <laughs> about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Investigate black Let's residents. Place right, out. Okay. Let's see what we can find. First of all, we need to go outside because he had a boy. He's had a boiler fitted. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. More concerned about being outside where the boiler is. Oh, hang on. What was that? Oh, Insta Heat. Let's look at that first. So, Insta Heat will have the address now. <laughs> you weren't that bothered, was you? To be honest. Designed to give more heat <clears throat> weather 24 hours a day. $0.82, 82 50 cash or 8.5 down on easy terms. Wow. So that's what I'm looking at. 262 N Harvard Boulevard, Wiltshire. That's the address. We got the address anyway. Now we've got the invoice. This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Oh dear. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. M. Ryan written on the bottom of that one. So we need to look outside. It doesn't seem particularly that. Oh, I'm not being funny, you know. <laughs> right, let's have a look outside and see if we can find anything untowards here. What we got? Well, I've got to say it's a well-kept garden. Oh, he said he had the boiler fitted. That a garage or an actual extension on the property, look. That is one pretty nice garage. Oh, hold on. 
Are they of any important? Right, okay, so I can see the pipe work there, look. No use leaving the thing half finished. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Is it... <laughs> That's the husband's man cave. Yeah, we all we all need one of those. What I can't understand is, you're telling me he's got to finish that pipe work, and he is not even a. You're joking. But well, I don't believe this. So, you're a detective. You've gone round to somebody's house, and the good lady hasn't finished the shopping. So she goes to you, officer. Could you complete my shopping? Which he goes, hold on a minute, love. You're telling me I've got to go shopping for you. Well, you completed my husband's plumbing. What the hell is this all about? Um, Let's try that one. Well, that's going to go there, isn't it? Wow, I can't believe I'm doing this. But you put it there. Oh, guess what? You know what's going to happen, don't you? The piece that's missing is the piece that killed him. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. That's the one that killed him. Right, so we've done that. So do we now need to speak to it? Let's have a look what we've got for clues. So people... We've got, oh, her name's Margaret. So we've got Margaret Black, which is the wife. She's 30 years old. She's got brown eyes, black hair. A female, we would never have guessed. Well, do you know something, Axel? It's got to be something because you wouldn't actually do that. Um, the alibi for Mr. Black. Okay, so what we've we got here. So we've got the water heater, Insta Heat, Insta Heat Flyer. We've got all that. I'm trying to <laughs> solve mystery. Uh, let's have a look. So if we go for clues. Oh, we've just done that one so if we go for locations what else have we got right we're here so i've got to go and speak to her again haven't i i wonder if it'll let him turn this tap on here i'm just going to try something no but it'll let him feel, fix the plumbing oh hang on That's it, I found it. That's what we got here. That's all. Oh, that's probably something she may have been using. Background. <laughs> we'll find out. No, it it makes a lot of sense, but we will find out if that's the case. I can't see anything else that would... Um, let's try and see if we can get in here. Right, so you can't actually get access to that building. Try and see if we can go this way. No, you can't get access into the garage. You can't get access into the garage. <laughs> oh dear. Because the husband wouldn't serve the part So we're gonna... I like the way you guys think though. Right, there's a note on the actual... F Is that the fridge? Will you come out of the way? Yeah, what's that? 
Can't get into that room. Adam plays games. Wow, 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 with a raid of six people. How are you, Alex? <laughs> Alex, Adam. I've seen Alex come up. Ha ha ha. Adam. Thank you very much for the host, and this is for your five amazing viewers. You're ready. Thank you very much. I don't know what you were playing, by the way. I'm good, thanks, man. How's you? I'm fine, to be honest. I don't know what you was playing, and I would like to know. There's a clue here. So we've got a book of matches. Kavanaugh's. Avanoff. Cavanoff. So is that a club? Oh, Rainbow Six. Okay, wonderful. How are you anyway? All good? Right, hang on. So we've now got a newspaper. Alienist Foundations for really Help to Troubled Vets. Oh, that's good. That's good. I haven't seen you around for a bit. I don't know if it's been down to me not being about, but I haven't seen you around for the, the past few days. Oh, here we go. Something else as well. So there's more matches. Right, so now we've got the address. New objective. Trace address to Kavanos. Kavanos matchbook. So maybe Agent was... So we've got the address now, so we're gonna. It looks like we're gonna end up going there to find out what's. We're gonna go to a club. We're gonna visit a club. Oh, that's all right then. I can't do anything other than stream. The IRL stuff don't work for me. So at some stage, guys, I've got to go back to speak to the young lady. Oh, hang on. What did that say? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. So we've got the address now. South. Thanks for your it's help. at the south side. <laughs> so we're going to go to the south side. So investigate Kavanaugh's bar and right. So we've got that in the book now. So what we need to do is speak to, we'll speak to the lady again, and try not to upset her. So last, um, let's try that one. Receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F Morgan. A pig. Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. So now we've got Frank Morgan. Um, honest and truthful, I think she's telling the truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Okay, so... Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Um, would you say she's telling the truth? Okay, I'm going to go for her telling the truth. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went yeah, home thanks, early Dev. too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Right, okay, so alibi for Mrs. Black. Let's have a look. So let's see where we go with this. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? Wow, he, I tell you, some, he's heavy handed. You're not accusing me, I know. Are What's you? wrong with you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course. Waiting for Adrian to come home. I don't believe her. I reckon she's lying. Yes, I I'm am telling you now. Your husband was going to leave you. She's That's lying. Right. Now your only alibi is an empty house. Get it off your chest. Tell me the truth. Come on. 
Whatever your theories are, you're going to have to prove that I was there and that I wanted to hurt him. Do you think you can do that, detective? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I might have... Well, you're going for doubt, Dev, but I don't know because she does not look convincing at all. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. But I like that. The evidence is stacking up, Mrs. Black. It all places you at the rail yard last night. I've already told you I was here all night alone. Your stack of evidence doesn't change a thing. Okay, so explain the, the box of matches. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. I reckon she's telling the truth now. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Oh, look at that. Rewards, five hidden... There we go. We did okay on that one. Yeah, we did okay on that one, I'm sure. But I think what we've got to do is go to this cavernous bar. What do you reckon, dude? Yeah, we've got that already. I want to check the cigarettes. Right, I'm going to see if it'll let me go to this cavernous bar because I think we're done with her, don't you? I would say we're done with her. Right, so let's look at location. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got cavernous bar. Right, so we'll set destination and we'll head there now. I think we're done with her. I don't believe her, by the way. I think she's either having an affair or she's just one of them women that you just don't trust, full stop. In other words, when you get your wages, guys, do not put anything in her account. I love the way they both get in the same door. Yeah, no worries, matey. What's this? Landmark is oh, okay, so these are landmarks that I'm discovering. Here we go. So here's the cavernous bar, look. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Here we go. Let's have a chat with him. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? Yeah, I'll tell you what, mate. That ain't gonna happen. Right, okay, so let's leave him alone because he's just a drunk. Right, now we have to be careful because this place looks a little bit... Looks a little bit seedy. Robinson and have to sail. Don't you know? Alright, let's approach the bartender. Oh, do you, who do you want to talk to? Going to church doesn't make you, you know Frank Morgan? Any more than staying in the sure. garage makes you Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh, okay. Interview Frank Morgan, right. 
that cherry pie will be delicious. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Oh, okay, the guy sat down there. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Right, okay, so Frank Morgan's missing. He doesn't know that Frank Morgan's missing, yet he's supposed to be a friend. But let's have a look. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. <laughs> um, honest and truthfully, come on, guys. I, went, I need help here. Would you say that he's telling the truth, doubt, or lie? My personal opinion on this, looking at his eyes, looking at where he's looking, I'd give him doubt. I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. Yeah, he, oh, Cannibalit says he's got? telling the truth. Axel reckons he's lying. Let's go for the next one. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Okay, so he's had a lot to drink. So my, I'd say he's lying. You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have 10 guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? There you go. You through making accusations you can't back up? This doesn't add up, Morgan. Oh, I got no, none of them correct. Happen. Let's see right. how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. So we, I didn't get any of those right. Oh, okay. So our Mr. Morgan ain't telling the truth. Right, we've got to tail him. Here we go. Look, this is going to be difficult now. I have a job driving this thing as it is normal. He sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Oh, you, you can't get... I can't get... I'm trying. Every car keeps getting in front of me. I can't put my sirens on. What did you just say then? That is a swear word. Right, Dev. I just need to stay close enough to Morgan but not get seen, believe it or not. There we go. I managed to do it. Hey, red lights don't mean nothing to the police. He 
reached the deal. <laughs> Best deal. I look where that. Right, we have to be careful now because we cannot be seen. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour work and traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. This where he went. Hold on a second. Oh, he went in the cap. Oh, okay. He went in here. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. So apartments one to four, five to six. Do we have an idea where he is? This is the problem we've got. Right, okay, so. We don't even know what apartment he's in. Let's just have a look here and find out what we've got. Uh, people. We ain't got an address for him at the moment. I think he's just there for support. <laughs> Review the evidence. We don't have an address for this guy. So let me go for locations. Let's have a look. Here we go. Morgan's apartment. Yeah, we don't have a number. But we know it's somewhere. We're in the right place, but we don't have a number. Right, so what we're going to do. We know it's not that one. I'm going to have to try all the doors here. This is going to be great, this one. Because we don't actually have a number for him. No, we'll find it. Don't worry, we'll try all the doors. Hey, this is detective work, isn't it? True detective work this is. 1940s CSI. Oh, here we go, number two. There you go. What the hell is that? Will you relax? Oh, there he is. Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. I knew it. Felt go out. I'll try to get him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Oh, we're supposed to go after him, aren't we? Where did he go? Yeah, we're supposed to go after him. He's gone. He's ran. There's a reason he's ran. Oh, you see? Suspect evaded. So the idea was, I managed to handcuff him and I'm supposed to go after the other guy. Right, you know you as that? a partner. Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD. Go, 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 go. Out. Go on. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try to hit him off in the car. Remember. That's what, you see, that's what it's all about. If you don't know where they've gone, how do you bloody go after There's no them? Point running, Adrian. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh, there we go. Don't let him get too far. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Where'd he go? I didn't see, I can't see where he's gone. Oh, here we go. Got him. 
Oh, his mate got him. Why wow. Why did you to get out of L.A. so fast, Adrian? Why the melodrama? I've met somebody in Seattle. She means everything to me. Oh, my God. You mean you're having an affair, We've man? We've life together. What about your wife and your kids? Looks like she'll have to wait for you. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to the big house, Adrian. And when your wife finds out, you're going to lose her too. I hope He's already gone it. off his wife. If you look at map. <laughs> Thank you very much because I would not have run after him. That turned him. out to be quite I'd some case, him. huh? Adrian. What an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case. Hey, we did this one, two. guys. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. So... Wow, the driving seat. Clues found. I took no injuries. City damage, hundred pound. That was a few vehicles. I only found ten out of the fourteen clues. Questioned correct was six out of nine. So I didn't do that brilliant, to be honest and truthfully. I didn't do that good. Grant Morgan would have rolled over, and Adrian Black with some tougher questions. Yeah, he probably would have done. I haven't changed anything, Jordy. I've just played the game. You have any plans for weekend? I didn't change yet? any modes. I just put the game into Angeles game. Sorry. The factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection. Before While this plane, I'm just going to nip to the ladies. Up, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. Or is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty cancelled. Two-day field drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make a homicide. I mean, you know. Hit and run vehicle, hit and run victim, and Roy's Caf. Sorry, Ray's Caf. This is how one locked downloading is accessible, really. Okay, right, so let's have a look at that. Slimming how are you? So, beginners, wait until you try it on hard. Okay, no problem, Jordy. I probably won't play it on hard now because I won't see the point in it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think we met somewhere we before. When we're not even married. <laughs> it's better on hard mode, is it now? I guarantee he'll walk. I'm flipping now, Slemon. Let's do this. Smart. Because me personally, I am flipping, 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 flipping amazing. I am fine, sir. How are you? Takes longer to do tasks and that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind because it means that on the hard mode, you're probably going to have to look um, a lot more. You're going to have to look around a lot more for clues and things. And the questioning is going to be a lot harder. But I don't know because all I've done is loaded the game up, put it on play. And guess what? I'm enjoying it. Right now, how do I get out of this office? Is it that way? No. How do you get out of this room, this bloody office? Got to well, exit. There you go. Look, 50. So where are we actually going? I'm going to go around the right way so I don't have to get in the same door as him. Chess player king, how are you? Fifty. Have you seen the heart? Or have you seen or heard from Senatum? Not seen him in Discord for a few weeks. Uh, remember what? I don't want to give too much away, but remember what Senatum does, okay? So Senatum disappears from time to time to do with his job. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anorani yeah, Senatum disappears every now and then. It's all to do with his job, remember? Yeah, it's a lovely game, this is. She's an easy make and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let it go. To be honest, you know, it's one of those games where I haven't played it for a while. And you know, the thing about it is I've not even played it off stream. And I keep thinking, I don't know why, because it's a lovely game to play. Especially when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> it's even better when you don't know what you're doing. Oh, here we go, look. I'll let you go since you're more important than the police. Yeah, I know, that's what I thought. You played it on PS3? Wow. No. Don't touch consoles. <clears throat> consoles are for wimps. So, it's a hit and run. Everybody's busy, aren't they? Doing their own thing. Detectives, over here. Dev, I would get... Honest and truthfully, guys, when I do things like this, I just sat this here and thought, traffic. let me do what something that I haven't done for a while. And this is... I'm, I'm so male, enjoying this. Patterson, out of for a game, it's so interactive. It's really good. There and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only point of interest is Lister Patterson. She lives above the bar, name Shannon Perry. I didn't no, hear that a lot. I said. <laughs> I don't do console. <clears throat> is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Shannon right Perry now, is another right. point of interest. Right, okay, let's see if this who's this guy here? Is this the same doctor that I saw at the Let's look at the hat. You should take a look at the body. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. Okay, so it's very similar to one I'm wearing. Please, will you get out of the way? I have a report I need to get finished for the grand jury. Here we jurors. go. Ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Right, so there's nothing up at the uh, head to look for. What have we got here? Nothing there. You'd have thought they're doing more scuff marks. He's been dragged. there have a look 
what it is with this letter. Here we go. Let Lister Pass in 182 North Hope Street, Los Angeles, California. That was explained to me. Tim has passed in. It was great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium of your life insurance policy from £3.70 a week to £5.90 per week. This raise comes effective on January the 1st, 1947. Uh, we're our standing veteran care policy. Uh, what's that? Entitled you to a lump sum payout of 10,000 in the event of your untimely death or uh, permanent incapacitation this new plan source your benefit your benefactories as a sum of 16,000 what the f anyway we at California fire and life thank you and wish you good health and security for the future so what seems to have happened is this somebody has risen <laughs> his life insurance and then decided to take him out Curtis Benson vice president's California fire and life insurance that seems to that's what seemed to have happened but we can never be too sure life insurance mm, yeah my good lady um extended my life insurance so I have to be careful right so that's what we think's gone off here well that's my opinion of what I think's happened from all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Very common. In we haven't got that far yet. Look for a car with a prominent we ain't got that far yet, Dev, killers. but we'll see. So we've checked the clues. We've got a uh, coroner's report. We've got the coroner's report. So let's just have a look at what we're looking at. So on this one... We've got Lister Patton, who is the assailant as such. So his brown eyes is uh, 36 years old. Hair brown is male. Victim hit and run incident. That's all we've got at the moment. We've got Shannon Perry. So Shannon Perry is the eyewitness. So she's seen what's happened. She's 24 years old. What the hell she's doing out on the streets that time of night, I do not understand. Blonde hair, female. Hmm not say anymore suspected vehicle description but we haven't got that so we'll have to go and speak to her and find out what she knows have a look where are we i love uh the press in them days that we're right on the case weren't there right she's over there let's just check the clues first um probably at that time well, traveled a good 20 feet wow Yeah, that looks some distance, that does. I'm just checking the clues before I speak to her. I think she lives above the calf. Oh. So we're all playing detective now, are we? <laughs> Let's just have a quick look. Oh, skid marks. So the driver managed to break before the impact. That's what I'm trying. I thought the same thing. Yeah, but the different. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Right, where is she? Let's have a chat with her and see what she's got to say for herself. Is Officer, you're, you're excused. I'll take it from here now. Just phone my wife and tell her I'm going to be a few hours late. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. But it's a questioning we need to get right, guys. Okay, so eyewitness, let's have a look. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. No argument overheard. Do, you, do we say she's telling the truth? So she came to the window because she heard an argument. But what makes me laugh is, why was she the only one that came to the window? It's a calf. Can you see the guy in the calf now? I'm going to go telling the truth. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red. Oh, Lincoln so Dev thinks she's lying. Ooh. 
So, okay, I'm going to go with what you guys say now. So definitely, I'm going to go for a lie. Why are you lying to me, Miss Perry? You've got rocks in your head. Why would I lie about the car? Because? Why would you lie about the car? Argument overheard. I need to go home now. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, hang on a minute. They were called a suspect. All right, okay, we're not doing too bad here. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. <laughs> I didn't catch that now because I was listening. Right, so. I think he said something about who did she hear arguing. Go on. Then a third person, another man, got involved. It's in your best interest. I got one out of three now. correct. One day you'll find yourself in trouble and needing a cop. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. You know what, Phelps? You're a muppet. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take right, the bartender. Okay. You work the rest of the room. Well, let's talk to the bartender. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. So so Dudley Lynch. Mrs. Patterson home. Right, so. Dudley Lynch, 33 year old. Here Brown, he's male. Obviously, we can see that. So, hit and run incident. Let's what have a look. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. Him, he was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. So I think he's telling the truth. So you didn't see what happened? By the time I got out there, it was all over. He's lying. I'm going to go for a argument. Witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? A lot of people like doing that. I think he's telling the truth. What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. So he knew them. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. I think he's telling the truth, I do. One of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Stalling just makes us... Well, now a three correct. We'll get to the bottom of this. With or I'm without. not doing good on this, guys. That guy has a serious attitude problem. I you need help. Out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. So none of these are helping. Lester was a fan of the love tap. Hang on, there's a guy here. Look. Oh, hang on. Another newspaper. Drink to the stars. Promise mental breakthrough. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem, and then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. 
how is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. We had an issue with... He had an issue with the treatment anyway because he was complaining about how he could keep them all on the medication and not, not let it bother him. But when you think about Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine, he's probably making a lot of money keeping them on that medication and get him, getting them off it. Oh, here we go. So two, I've only collected two newspapers out of 13. Let's have a look. What else we got? I don't think there's anything else to check in here, to be fair. I need to either get back to that girl and either apologize. Don't ask me where I'm going. Oh. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Right. So he's got a... So he's got a gambling thing going off in the background. What we've got, people of interest. I can't do any of that from here anyway. Oh, hold on. So it's highlighted the phone, the phone box. So there must have been a call made from some. Where's that? Officer, please tell me what's going on. Uh, no. It's got to be something big, right? Olive oil comes from olives. Where does baby oil come from? Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a list of dark red Lincoln Continentals. Just a moment. This is going to be quite a list, Detective. Cross check for registered addresses. Top of the pile, anything from the downtown area. Around Bunker Hill. One moment. Fred Murray, 120 South Olive Street, between First right, and okay. Second Street. Harris Jones. Oh, we've got Maury's residence. Lane. Jones. William Shelton of 738 West Temple Street. That's all for downtown. You've got that, Detective? Thanks, ma'am. So we've now got to work out which one marries up with what we're looking for. Might call for some leg work, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> look, at this. look at the way he's smoking. Just look at this. Wow, look at the way he's doing that cigarette. Right, come on then. What we're doing, mate? Here? Let's have a look. So, location... Registered Lincoln. I'm just trying to work out what we've got now. So we've got F. So he's registered address to the Lester Patterson. Right, we don't need to check that one. We're looking for the people that have got the Lincoln. Registered Lincoln Continental Ford Red. We'll go there. We'll try that one. I thought this was going to give you at least a 50 Red Lincoln owner. Yeah, but it has. It's given me three. So what I've got to do is check them all out and hopefully I'm assuming yeah this is my vehicle come on get in She 
Jesus, fool! <laughs> about that mate I need to get this case solved right so that's the link in there DMV gremlin strikes again Get out of here, Phelps. Yeah, you can get the partners to drive, but guess what? Then I'm not driving. Right, so let's have a look at this vehicle. I don't think it's that one. It's definitely not that one. Have a look for the other one. Yeah, do you get what I mean? <laughs> but it makes me laugh how it <clears throat> it makes me laugh how it shown that one up anyway. The resident address of a Lincoln Continental. Okay, let's try that one. We'll find it, don't worry. took a car rather than take the police car. Now... Here we go. The word to be perhaps more messy to run if the partner drives so you much... It's not a vehicle. Things been gathering dust for months. Let's try the next one. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? Hey, do you know what? I'm even famous. Did you hear that? Isn't that the cop that solved the case and got promoted? I am an absolute legend. <laughs> right. I'm just going to check this one over anyway. There we go. Right, so we know it's not this one now, don't we? Okay, so we've checked out. So we've only got to check. Oh, is that the same? Right, so we've only got to check Dalton residence now. Right, we'll check that one and that should, hopefully. Excuse me, that should be the one. Oh, it's not too far either. There we go. A Shelton residence. Oh, there we go. A lot. That's the one. I know it is. I just know. <laughs> Delta residence, seven forty-three a.m. Oh, he's on a he's in a rush. Uh, 
I ain't gonna run after anybody in again. Oh, okay. Yeah, look. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. And do you know what? What is it with people and running? <laughs> Dear God, man, face up to your things. Don't worry, I'm having him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I wonder if he's going to try to like this. Woohoo! Come on, buddy. Don't let that asshole get away. <laughs> oh, come on. Get the freak. Do you know what? I love these games. I love them. I was doing so well, and now he's going to get away. Right, he's turned that corner. He's going to get away. He's going to get away. I know he is. Yeah, he's got away. He's got away. He's there, look. Yeah, he got away. For some reason, you hit something and it blocks you just outright. Didn't let 50 grab your gun again. <laughs> Me, it would have been nice if I could have just shot him because that's what I would have done. I'd have just shot the guy and thought nothing of it. £50,000 worth of damage in five <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. This is 50 plus gamer, man. I do my best. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Right, just take your time because I know that... Games, Phelps, take this guy out. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Oh, come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. I love how I get hit by the vehicles and he doesn't. See, I got him then, but... <laughs> All right, I give up. Got him! That's it. Cuff him and we're done. Put your hands in the air. You know, I would shoot him. I wouldn't even ask no questions, honestly. I just take him out. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Apart from put your brakes on. I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Come on, kid. Get downtown. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. 
We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. <laughs> oh, chameleon, you are the best. Right, so where are we off now? We've done that. Clues. So the Lincoln Continental's been sorted. Right, we've done that. The insurance letter, we understand about the insurance letter. I'm doing it at my own pace. So we're looking for location, aren't we, now at the moment? So location, where we gotta go? Right. Let's do that. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left you the You have scene. to tell his missus. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. We saw some people do some strange things in war after the fight. Maybe. Yeah, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. Do you know what? The language on this is appalling. I am absolutely disgusted. Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this Maybe she deserves You know what I don't understand is how he got back in his own car. Sorry about that. I'm just enjoying the driving so much. The driving I do like, I have to be honest. I'm impressed with the driving. It's not police driving. Well, we don't give a damn, do we? You put your sirens on, you can get away with anything. <laughs> yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Okay, let's see what happens here. We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. Bad news, your husband is dead. Good I news, the insurance has increased. I think I know most of them already, <laughs> Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's Oh, Empire. Do you know you? I have someone here. I worry I about you, one. Empire, so much. You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. <clears throat> it's okay, Lorna. Oh, Lorna so this is the guy. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Savo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked <laughs> right out in front of the car. Becca Fernandez. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a meat mental a cruelty and Lester knew about that no I hadn't told him well hasn't this worked out well for the two of you I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous is 16,000 pound better off do you honestly think she'd be How upset did the car come to hit Lester he walks straight we need to get the, the questions right guys right she's lying you're lying you pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. 
Okay, so insurance letter. I would have loved to push him under a car many a time, but not this time. Argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Telling the truth. We're gonna need more than that. Like I said, Lester was a great guy when he was winning. A really sunny, bright guy. Trouble was, he hardly ever won. <laughs> and it was caught on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We're leaving, Lorna. God, I got none of them right. Us. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, fellas. I got none of them Make right, guys. Scared. You're not helping me. Listen, I've got your cards marked, mate. I'm going to come back. And me and you are going to have a conversation. I'll talk to you later. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. Right, so. Where do I need to go now? There's nowhere else for me to go. Clues. Oh, here we go. Lincoln Continental. There's no other clues for that. The insurance letter we've asked about. Coroner's report says that the victim... Uh, what's that? Intoxicated chest wound possibly caused by a vehicle hood ornament. So we know that argument, witness reports here in an argument. So there's nothing else to put there. Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Ah, I didn't, I didn't see one actually. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's go back in. Let's go back in. Telephone icon. I'm searching the place. I'm a police officer. I can do what I like. Right, telephone. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Right, which one? Let's try that one. Doesn't tell me anything. Well, that don't tell you anything. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Where's the telephone? Oh, hold on. Telephone's here. What? <laughs> Looking on the door for. Something's not right here, is it? Because there's a telephone icon. Right, so they were playing cards. Junk. There we go. I've got it. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. <laughs> You're all right. Can we, I'll get there in the end. Don't worry. How can I help, detective? Any messages? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads... Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks. Okay, so I've got to go to the morgue. So, in other words, I've got to go to the morgue. Come back to talk to you, love. You may think you got away with it, but you haven't. Right, so, location. Central Morgue. Right, set destination to the central morgue and let's go and see what's going off. Right, where's my vehicle, partner? So, we've, we're not doing too bad at the moment. Um, I think the coroner's going to tell us something that he was probably pushed because he couldn't have got them injuries from stepping out in front of a vehicle like that. Whoa.
Whoa. I love it when you put your siren on, they all just literally move out of the way for you, which is brilliant. So Los Angeles, Los Angeles County Morgue. Oh, to me, lights. No. Well, the idea is, police do that often, don't they? If they pull up at the traffic lights and there's too much traffic, they'll put the sirens on. People just split, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Right, okay, so we need to... F where's this icon? We need to Not find out where... Partner. Oh, here we go, look. We He's here. We put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Oh. Puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. <laughs> Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to... Find the murder scene. weapon. We need stabbed. to get raised right. one more time and trial for evidence. Arrest that man in the why? <laughs> right, okay. So at least we've, um, the coroner's done his job right and established how um, the victim was killed. So we understand that the hit and run was just a cover-up. We, we now know that the guy that left the house, when we got to the house, the wife had a so-called friend there um between the two of them they've obviously been discussing the 16,000 truth to Sheldon's cock and bull story after all I've got to work out where I'm going but he didn't kill Patterson either I'm no betting man but I know I'd put all my chips the grieving widow and her shoulder to cry on now all we need is a murder weapon who do I you see the difference is who do you talk to there's nowhere for me to go there is nowhere for me to go I've just worked out. Where can I go? Um, I can go back to the widow. I think I might need to go back to the widow. It won't let me, will it? No, it won't let me. Go to Roy's calf. Go back to the calf. <laughs> I'd be in the right job as well, wouldn't I, really? To be honest, that would be the perfect job because the donuts, you know what they, they say about the uh, LA police? Oh, he's there, look. All of a sudden, he's the guy that was at the uh, house. The owner. Lester could be a heel, We just wanted to check the crime scene over one that's more a time. Lousy for to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. All right. Step by step. Check that's the murder weapon we need to find. Let me get behind the bar. And let us go into the ladies. All the gents. Service.
Okay, so it's the murder weapon we're looking for. That's locked. Okay. We came here and we checked all this though, didn't we? Getting nothing from any of this. Checked all this. You don't want to talk. Lester could be a heel, but that's a lousy way for anyone to go out. Now, there's nothing in here. Let's have a look what that was saying to me. That was saying show all clues. Right, remaining clues one. Right, here we go. And it's looks like it might be around the back of the property. Here we go. Here we go. There we go, Lord. Spark plug. It doesn't appear to be connected. Doesn't what? Nothing significant. Checking everything and I still can't work out what. I doubt it. See, we know we're looking for a blade, don't we? Hold on. There we go. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. I'm sure Carruthers will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Eight stainless steel as well, so it's good stuff. Stablet. <laughs> good stuff. Right, so let's have a look what we've got in the clues. So clues. Bloody knife. Uh, stay bright. Stainless steel kitchen knife blade stained with blood. Okay, so what we can do, we need to go back in there, don't we? I've got no locations, I don't think. No, there's no location still. Let's have a look if we go back in and see what happens with him now. Here we go. Leroy Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Whoa! Go! Oh, I hate running after people. It's too late, Sabo. I've got to kill him. Oh, come on! I'm gonna to have to shoot him because there's no. Okay, Stavo, it's going to be like that, is it? Me and you, bro. Let's do it. What fire escape? <laughs> Woo! Code 88, is that what they call it? He's going to get away, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to get away. I'm not going to catch him. Oh, hang on. Oh, come on, this, this... Little frigger. I have to have it on. <laughs> oh, I don't believe we've killed him. You look spooked, Phelps. I don't believe we killed him. I need to take him in for questioning. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. No, you know what? Have patrol pick up this right, You know when you kill somebody, you always go home and sit there on the end of your bed and think... Did I do the right thing, or could I have, you know, done it any different way, another way? So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. 
This yeah, where was Baco? Detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. I need a pay rise. You got some sharp elbows on you, Detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. I just feel the job's too stressful. I need a pay rise because when I go home, the missus is saying, "What's the matter?" Right, guys. That's three cases, three cases that we solved. And I am going to come back and do more of this because I have absolutely enjoyed this. And I've done a lot better this time around than I did the first time I ever streamed it. They were eating donuts and coffee. Now your backup should always be there for you. And if the donuts are available, they offer you a donut and then we engage the enemy. So guys, you've been watching the 50 Plus Gamer. I am going to close the stream down. Three hours and 12 minutes, matey. I normally stream for, t for about two and a half hours anyway. I've been at work all day. I will be on tomorrow. I'm going to try the stream twice tomorrow, but I'm not going to promise anything. I'm really not. Uh, I'm looking, if possible, to do Mud Runner. So guys, if you have got, and I want to just say this to you, if you have got Mud Runner and you want to join in, um, we'll do a basic map because otherwise you'll have to have the same map as what I've got. But what I'm saying is if you've got Mud Runner and you want to join in tomorrow night, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to load up Mud Runner. Anybody who wants to join in can join in. Otherwise, that's all it will be. So guys, I'm going to have a look and see if there's anybody out there. Oh, I'm, I keep forgetting I'm on the... Uh, I'm on the controller. Kets and me are in. Wonderful empire. Right, so. I'm going to, what you call it, quit that. I will come back to that. Uh, are you sure you want to quit all save thing a little bit? Let me look if there is an actual, if there's actually a save in this. No. Right, so we go quit. Go yeah. Let's see if there's anybody out there that wants to take you gremlins off my hands. And this is for you guys for being such You're a ready. wonderful. Have a look who's out there. Who is streaming at this time of night? You guys, I know you guys like to watch this, so I think what we'll do is we'll do that. Who is streaming at this time of night? Let's turn that off for a start and let's get rid of that because I've got Kempy Kempy wants me to follow him on Facebook. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> I, uh, do you know the one thing about me? I don't follow anybody on Facebook if I can help it. Uh... So guys, I'm going to take you over to Mr. Le Shark, who is doing one of my greatest games, The Long Dark. Guys, please hit that follow button. Please tell him where you've come from. And I will definitely see you guys tomorrow as we will be doing Mud Runner. So I will play you out and thank you guys for all your support through that game. I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Good you night. Ready?
You ready? The 50 Club Game Show. The 50 Club Game Show.